everyone welcome to the second series to installing Apache Guacamole on your Ubuntu VM um, on the last in the last video we did install Apache um, Guacamole um, using the script and now we are going to configure a reverse proxy to be able to run Guacamole over port 443 so um, the configuration is the same if you're using a third-party certificate you've purchased um, but for this tutorial we're going to use a self-signed certificate the only difference with the third-party certificate is when we get to the configuration file here you are going to be able to replace the, um, the files we have specified here for our self-signed certificate you replace that with your um, third party cert file and the key file. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is switch to root. And then we're going to start by running the first command, which is basically installing the proxy, the reverse proxy itself. Once that is done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to enable the proxy. And then we're going to create the self-signed certificate and the um, private key. So we'll use the open, open SSL command and it's going to prompt you to put in a country name. We're going to use US province. I'm just going to use New York and ct you can either skip all of this or you can input um, the information if you want it i'm going to skip all that and for the common name of my server i'm just going to put in the server's ip address but here if your server does have a fully qualified domain name you want to add that on there if you are creating a, a self-signed certificate that's obviously um, recognized by your computers in your environment or maybe you have them installed on your browser so that way your browser recognizes them but for third party certificates you're not going to do these steps because you already have that so we'll skip that clear and now if you had a third party certificate this is where you're actually going to start so for everyone third party ever using the self sign we created we're gonna um, run that. I don't have nano installed, so I'm gonna install that here real quick. Okay. So since I have that installed, now I can open that up. You can use VI or Vim as well, um, that too works. I'm gonna copy all of this and I will paste it in there. I have this file attached to um, the description so you can just do the same copy and paste um, when you're in here you want to make sure you change the configuration uh, since I'm hosting this internally for the server name I'm just going to put in my IP address so I'm going to do 78 and I'm going to go down I'll do the same here 78 but if you had this hosted in like a cloud, like a Linode or um, some other cloud provider, you want to make sure you're putting your fully qualified um, server name on here. Um, here for the certificate, we'll leave it as default because that's uh, the self-signed certificate we created. If you had the um, third-party certificate, you'll change that to put the path. Um, for the DNS resolver, I can leave this as Google. Um, I can come down here and change this. And I'll just put 1.1.1 and then with Google as well. Um, you also want to change this and put in your fully qualified domain name for me i'm going to put in my ip address seven eight and you go down and that should be it so we're going to save that file and then the next thing we're going to do is generate 
and the DH certificate to ensure a secure key exchange. Okay, uh, so we're gonna copy that, paste it, and we're gonna run that. That may take some time, but it's eventually gonna get done. So once that completes, we're gonna have to activate our um, reverse proxies configuration we'll verify the configuration and then all we need to do is just restart the service the service and now if we go into a browser and we type our IP address 10.120.78 it should bring us to our Apache Guacamole so now you see we have configured Apache Guacamole and we have it we have a re reverse proxy that um, instead of using HTTP now we use um, HTTPS so we can now log in as Guac Admin Guac Admin and that works so thank you for watching um, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can put it in the comment section below and i'm going to also move along and uh, make a video for how to configure um ldap and sam and two-factor authentication for guacamole thank you